Space Engineers is addicted to DLCs. We're now on the 12th DLC and including Space Engineers Deluxe Edition, we're totaling over $60 for the game and all the DLCs. And that's about to increase with the next DLC, the Decorative Pack 3. Now, funnily enough, there's only a bit of speculation required this time because quite a few of the blocks have been leaked in a battle video. Now, the first leak block is the new med bay. The new med bay looks to be a little bit bigger and it's about time that old medical room received a nice update. Of course, the old medical room is still there on the right and it is interesting to see it does look a little bit bigger. Now, we'll also be receiving some new signs. It looks like we're going to be getting six in total. They're a little bit hard to make out, but it looks like we've got everything from from a badger to various science creation symbols. It also looks like we've got a good AI sort of owl symbol there as well. You have to let me know what you think the others are in the comment section below. Now this next shot pretty much gives up most of the DLC. It looks like we've got three solar panels of some kind. It could be something different, but they do look like a new solar panel variant. Then we have ourselves a new wind turbine variant, followed by something else that I'm not too sure about. What do you think that could be? Then it looks like we've got two variants of air vents, followed by a whole row of scaffolding. Now the scaffolding mod was very popular, so introducing this in is going to be really quite fun. And it looks like we've got some narrow scaffolding blocks as well as a ladder. It'll be interesting to see if scaffolding blocks like this one you can actually pass through and shoot through them as well. I would hope you could. Now moving on next we have got pillars of two kind. Now these could be a pillar or a button panel. I'm a bit not well I'm not super sure but this one has a different sort of icon on it. Now moving forward it looks like we've got variations of communication arrays and then selections of barrels. Now this barrel does interest me quite a bit because this barrel here has an explosive symbol and from the rover trailer we saw that barrel in the background. So what will it hold? Will it be a way of storing explosives or will it simply to be a gimmicky explosive barrel and then finally it looks like we finish up with some more vents and some sort of detailed wall panel blocks so all really quite cool some nice additions especially the scaffolding now finally we have the new cockpit the new cockpit looks to be like a truck cab of some kind and the dlcs have recently been introducing a new cockpit each time and i know the cockpits are one of the more controversial blocks within the community because some feel that they give players a distinct advantage over the vanilla cockpits but you'll have to let me know what you guys think about that as well now not all the blocks were shown on the menus if we take a look to the right here we'll see this large cargo crate this looks like an extension of the dlc cargo crates that we've already got but what we do know about this one is the top opens up to reveal its cargo inside now on the side of this box it says net and it looks like it says a amount of cargo that it's carrying perhaps the weight and it looks like the bottom one is the maximum size or the maximum weight of the cargo now if that updated as you are moving this around or loading things into it that would be a really cool feature now in this clip i would also like you to draw your attention to the vehicle suspension look at the flat sort of panel suspension design this is something that's going to be really useful in building narrow rovers no longer will we have wheels that stick out super far requiring us to do awkward sorts of chassis designs also at the back that's quite interesting you'll notice the armor wraps over the top of the wheel will we see a hitbox change to how these suspension blocks work it's all very fascinating and to add to the fascination we've got the cab on the top there the make of break factor of this cab will be the positions of the connectors how you can feed oxygen and various other supplies into this cab to make it useful if the connectors are at useless points it's going to be hard to use on the side of the cab it looks like there is some sort of door but i'm not too sure because there doesn't seem to be any seam on the upper window area so how are you going to be able to access and get in and out of this cab does look a little bit unusual now the other gift that we see shows a giant red fan in the background and you can also see these button pads up front now i'm not sure once again like i said the buttons and the pillars that we saw could be two separate blocks and i'm, I'm kind of speculating towards that but the bottom of the design does look very much like the pillar now if we look towards the top of these welders you'll see that it looks like we've got these cut down sort of pallet panels so these reinforcement panels they look a bit like the scaffolding so maybe there's going to be some sort of scaffold panel variants as well 
Now in this clip as well, they show you the spacing between the wheel and the suspension block and it is extremely tight between that wheel arch. Now I'm hoping that they've changed the collisions so we can now place wheels within wheel arches without having issues because in the past there was nothing worse than pasting in a grid or spawning or 3D printing a grid in to have the wheel collisions not be working correctly and you end up with a rover that can't have wheels attached to it, requiring your whole grid to be cut down and then uh, replaced and built back up. It was a little bit awkward but with this I'm hoping that's going to be fixed and addressed. Now the other thing that keeps getting thrown around in the run up to the launch of this DLC is Warfare Evolution. What exactly is it? Now there's two sorts of directions of hearing I'm, I'm hearing that Warfare Evolution is. Some people are saying War Evolution is going to be an update to Warfare in Space Engineers, overhauling some of the combat once again. Other people are saying that it's just a scenario that's included with this DLC update. If it is just a scenario, it will be a bit of a disappointment, but if it is an update to Warfare, what changes are they going to be making? Are these going to be weapon balancing? Are these going to be overhauling turret systems? What sort of changes would you like to see if it was a Warfare evolution? Now, I briefly touched on this at the beginning. This is going to be the 12th DLC. And with each DLC being around £4.99, so that's around $5, and pushing the price up to around $60, that means that Space Engineers has got quite expensive. Now, <laughs> here's the funny thing. If you buy into Space Engineers right now, quite a large portion of the blocks are DLC. And it almost feels like you kind of need to buy the DLCs to really play this game at the moment. And I'm not saying this is a bad thing, I'm just saying that as the DLCs further to stack, are we looking at a $100 game for Space Engineers and all its DLCs? Or are we going to see the developers compact and bring these DLCs together. Now if you haven't been paying too much attention to Space Engineers over the last few months, the Space Engineers developers or Joel's been creating some really fun tutorials exploring different areas of the Space Engineers games and how things work uh, within these very short and quite precise video tutorials that I think are a great idea. They're straight to the point, they're highly detailed and they're well edited so check them out there as well. Now I also want to give a little bit of an update of Space Engineers to why we're here. I've been following Jan as he's usually giving his updated development blogs of what we're guessing is Space Engineers 2 or maybe it's technology to help Space Engineers, who knows, but you can see that they've been developing the Space Engineers planets, how they're rendering, how physics are interacting with each other, more design and testing with water as well as lighting. There is a lot going on here, a lot of testing, a lot of functions that would make for an incredible experience in Space Engineers 2, and I am looking forward to it. When there is more released, I will put together a full update video on what's being developed for perhaps Space Engineers 2. But for the moment, let's look forward to the new DLC releasing.